So we're going to do a, a, a all grip buffing. In contrary, where a lot of people think all grip uh, truly is not buffable when it's new. You you kill the clear coat, um, it goes into a stage where it, where it destroys itself with the UV, and the clear coat doesn't come up as easy or doesn't come up again ever. But we have found a way to restore all their all grip. And, and uh, one of the products we use, we call a nano polish. And it's basically a protection, it's a, it's a polish with no protection that it has lubrication and doesn't create heat um, to a point that will burn through the paint. So um, what we'll do is we'll put a little bit of product in, we'll demonstrate it with our jello pad. There are different stages of all grip. There are all grip that is really, 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 really bad, you know, five, six, seven years. And then we'll use, uh, we'll treat it like, almost like gel coat. We use a little more abrasive um, polish, which we call a, a cotton polish number two. But for this demonstration, uh, this old group is it's just tired, it has some dullness to it, um, it's uh, never been buffed before, or maybe been buffed before, it has some scratches, but we don't care about the scratches, we just want to bring a luster back. So we're going to do, uh, uh, put a little bit of product on the surface and we're going to uh, buff through it. This will have a lot of lubrication, so we don't need that much. We just put a few drops on it, that's probably about enough. So the um, pad we're going to use is our Jello polishing pad, which is very soft. Um, this is a circular polisher, it has, goes from 1 to 6, and we're going to start about 600 RPMs. Our idea is not to spread product all throughout, but it's to start and spread the surface. So at this point, um, all the surface has been covered, and I know it has a slick on it, so I can see it with the sun. So I'm going to speed up to about 3.5, which is about 1500 RPMs. As you can see, I can go back and forth to the surface and break down the polish even more. So I let the pad do the work. The pad is not creating any heat. The surface is not hot at all. Um, it's just creating the proper amount because the surface is so lubricated that the pad just slides through it and lets the pad do the work. In contrary to a lot of products, it hazed out and you end up burning through the paint because the pad creates too much heat. The wolf is what actually does the work. So you want the lubrication. That is so important on, on buffing. So I feel very comfortable that anybody uh, should try this, um, even though we do it professionally for, for, as a service, uh, and we do it a lot, so we have a lot more experience, but we believe that we can train others how to do it also. If you don't have an orbital machine, ideally is use a soft pad. So you basically have an adapter that goes into the Makita. This is a very important adapter because if not, this will go through and you will damage the surface. So you have to have the adapter. Um, the foam pad acts um, at low speed. It will diminish a lot of thermal. There's impossible to be soil free with anything is circular. So that's why we, we, we could use this. And if you don't have an orbital machine, you could use this and you'll have fair results. Um, so basically you just go on the surface and you just go at low speed and you spread the surface around. So that's doing it with the that's doing it with a foam pad. So this is our, our cycle machine, and it's basically one of the tools that we use. So it's, it's it's been used. I mean, it's not a brand new tool by no means, but um, we put a little bit of tape on it so we don't have the paint. So we just kind of find our ways. We use a type of backing plate that it doesn't that we can go close to the edges. It's very important to have your pad center. Same product, not a polish. Remember, we're using the same product throughout the steps. Um, put a little bit of nano polish on it. And then just basically go on the certain surface that we circle above. So there are swell marks, even though we can't see them. Particularly if you're doing areas high where the sun hits it, you, you, you walk too many boats and you see swell marks on it. And you wonder, how can, how can that be? Anytime that anybody uses a wolf or a circular polish, it will leave a swell mark, particularly the type of products they use. And then they'll use a thick wax, and then that kind of covers them for a while, but then that washes off and then it shows. The only way to remove the swell marks is using an orbital tool, and particularly we like cycle, because they have the power to remove them. So now you can see the Sea Shield provides a soil free surface in combination with the right tools. There is no magic to a protection. There's a, there's a particular system that you work to steps and you end up with an excellent surface. And then when you put your protection, like Seashell Nano Coating or Seashell Polymer Serial Number 4, um, you know that what you're putting is you're protecting the shine. You're not, you're not creating the shine with the coating. Put a little bit of Seashell Nano Coating on. Same thing, just spray a little bit of product. Reapply in circle motion. Stretch it real nicely. Use this right side to spread it. And then that's it. Walk away from it. 
surface is protected. So she'll just put a nice coating on it. Um, it can be washed, it will beat water excellent, and it will last and I'll be um, most of the traditional waxes or all the traditional waxes. Find more information about our products at www.c-shield.com and that is S-E-A-S-H-I-E-L-D.com.